How about a one pan meal with all the flavor that you will definitely enjoy? Guys, come over to my kitchen to see how I make this lovely dish. I know you will enjoy it. To season my chicken, I have some garlic powder, onion powder, some rosemary, some all-purpose, and black pepper. Here, I'm using some chicken thigh that I already cleaned nicely. So before I go ahead and season, I am going to blend the powders and the herb together to make sure every piece of my chicken have the same amount of season from each. So I'm going to make sure my chicken pieces are coated well. So I am going to do the same thing on the other side. We want to make sure that our chicken pieces are well seasoned because this is the only season we are going to use and we want to use the season also that we want to taste in our chicken like I like rosemary so I add some rosemary herb if you like some thyme or some other season you can add it at this time so you notice there I'm lifting the skin also and add some season under because I want to make sure these chicken pieces are well seasoned so once you've done that, you want to leave your chicken pieces to marinate for at least an hour or longer. So I want to fry my chicken pieces a little first. Here I add about a, a teaspoon of paprika and immediately I add my chicken pieces. You want to add your chicken pieces to your oil when it hot. As soon as I add the chicken pieces, I give it a flip so both sides can be coated with that paprika oil. So I am going to allow the chicken pieces to turn into a nice beautiful color so here I'm flipping the pieces to make sure the other side become golden brown lovely Our chicken pieces are done, so I am going to remove them from the pan and set it aside. To make our one pan meal, here I have about three tablespoons of butter i add three minced garlic one tablespoon of ginger and about half cup of minced onion we want this to saute to have a nice light brown color and to release this beautiful aroma so we are going to keep stirring around you want to make sure to keep checking it, not to make it burn. So here we are getting this nice little brownish color and this is fine. So we are going to go ahead and add our coconut milk 
This is about two cup of coconut milk. And there I had about two cup of water that I use the same container with the coconut milk. That is why the water looks so white. And there I have a chicken bouillon that is going to bring a beautiful flavor. And that is three stalk of scallion that is crushed to release the flavor. I have two teaspoon of allspice that is crushed also to release that lovely flavor. I have a scotch bonnet pepper, a nice piece of thyme that is about half cup of chopped sweet pepper. So here in the baking pan, I'm pouring out my rice that is already washed. This is about four cups of rice. So while we are allowing the liquid to come to a boil, just to combine all the flavor in the liquid, and there I go ahead and add a green scotch bonnet pepper. So the red pepper, I burst it a little to release a light heat, but you don't have to do that. You can just allow the pepper whole to release just the flavor from the pepper without the heat. So a few minutes later, we add the liquid to the baking pot. We want to make sure everything is level nice in the pan so everything can cook evenly. So there goes our chicken pieces laid nicely on top of the rice. And we are going to have a nice piece of foil paper right on top. And we are going to insert into the oven on 180 degrees Celsius and allow it to cook for about 35 to 40 minutes. And here we have a nice, lovely rice. I remove all that pepper and the scallion. I remove the chicken to fluff the rice nicely. And I'm going to go straight ahead and add some red and yellow pepper just to give it a lovely color. So back goes my chicken pieces. So to give it a nice light crunch on top, here I'm adding a little extra virgin olive oil before we insert it back into the oven. And this time we will not cover, we will allow it just like this. We want on top to have a light crunch, so I am going to turn the oven and broil so we can have a quick, crisp chicken pieces. So here, after about five to 10 minutes more, our lovely one pan meal is done nicely. So here we have some lovely looking chicken pieces that is juicy on the inside with a light crunch on the outside. We have a flavor rich rice going on here. This is going to be a mouth watering deliciousness. I am so glad to bring this recipe to you guys go ahead try it out drop a comment below and let me know how did yours came out don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you like this video give it a thumbs up 
share this video with your friends and family. Thank you so much for watching.